Hey now, before we get into the breakdown of Bad Batch Season 3, Episode 13, Into the Breach, spoiler warning, spoilers! While this episode felt too short and that it should have been attached to last week's mostly uneventful outing, the classic Star Wars tension that we all know and love was on full display, making it a much more enjoyable outing with Clone Force 99. The episode featured a solid balance between the Tantus and Clone Rescue storylines, and each thread excelled in providing the viewer with a feeling of suspense and, at least on the clone side, true fear that they'd fail again since that has been their MO over the second half of the season. So while deep down, fans probably knew that the good guys would finally get a win, their rough track record recently and the unknown fates of our heroes did at least add to any anxiety Star Wars Nation might have felt while watching the excellent last few tense minutes of this episode. The vault scenes, on the other hand, were still disturbing to witness. Did anyone else notice that Sammy, a child, is now taking care of Bairn, a baby? Can the Empire truly get any more evil or morally bankrupt than that? Omega brought a nice dynamic to this depressed daycare though, and seeing how her time with the boys has molded her into a confident, strategic, stealthy, and overall badass little clone was a nice touch. She has no fear, and the other children are buying in. She feels like a true hero, and someone that can save herself, so it's going to be interesting to see how her escape plan ends up mashing with the arrival of her brothers and possibly Rex's cavalry in the series finale. One would be remiss not to talk about the return of Rampart as an Imperial. Love him or hate him, but his performance this episode was masterful. He had so many great lines like, I didn't make Vice Admiral on looks alone, or correcting the clones by saying, do your thing, sir. He overly enjoyed being an Imperial officer again, and it was more enjoyable than one could imagine to see play out. This episode definitely improved upon last week's ho-hum affair, and while it offered up some delicious Star Wars suspense, the fact that there's only two episodes left is still concerning in regards to wrapping up loose ends for this particular Star Wars era. Here's to hoping things finish strong with many fan questions answered, but it's starting to get very difficult to see how Omega's thread with Necromancer and Beyond, the clone's thread and what happens to them all, the Tantus thread itself, and others will get resolved by series end. Hey, top moments time. We have to start with Omega taking charge in the vault and relying on her Clone Force 99 training to keep a cool head while rallying others to fight for themselves. This character has grown by leaps and bounds since Season 1, but you could argue that she's grown even more over this final season. The confidence she showcased made the other prisoners buy in even though they knew there's no chance of escape. Like other major Star Wars heroes, she's able to provide hope to those who have none. Seeing her steal tools, use puzzle pieces to, to make battle plans, and figure out an escape route were all reminders of her lineage and her clone family. The clones made this little field general, and it's going to be very intriguing to see how she ends up. The final top moment is the nail-biting conclusion to the clones' mission on Imperial Station 3. Echo in particular really helped to ratchet up the suspense levels with his daring mission to board the Tantus cruiser and disable its sensors so Hunter and the others could hitch a ride like a space tick on Batcher. Hunter was also amazing right up until the final moment when the shuttle latched into place. You could see and literally feel that he was not going to let this chance to find Tantus slip by like the 5,000 others before it. So he committed with guts and finally got a win. And to wrap the breakdown up, the lone reference in today's episode was when Rampart called the boys overheated Gamorians, as in the green piggy guys from Jabba's palace. Hey, if you like this type of content, make sure to tune into the Star Wars Time Show on a weekly basis because we will make you a better Star Wars fan one live stream at a time.